My name is uh, Kenneth Laxer. I'm a neurologist and director of the uh, Pacific Epilepsy Program, California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco, California. Uh, epilepsy is a disorder. It's not a disease. It's a disorder. It's a condition characterized by recurrent seizures. A, a seizure, an epileptic seizure, uh, is uh, an excessive uh, discharge of, ner of the nervous tissue that affects uh, people's behavior. It's sudden, it's paroxysmal, uh, uh, it's not predictable unfortunately, uh, and it disrupts their ongoing behavior. Uh, there are two main types of uh, seizure disorders. There are those seizures that start everywhere in the brain from the very beginning. We call those generalized seizures. Those include things such as absence seizures, you know, the staring spells that uh, you know, we typically uh, ascribe to kids, where they look like they're daydreaming, may have some lip smacking or chewing. Uh, there are uh, another type of generalized seizure is a tonic-clonic seizure or, or convulsion, also in the old terminology, a grand mal seizure. There's also uh, a generalized seizure called a, an akinetic or atonic seizure where somebody will be walking along and all of a sudden just fall to the ground and able to get right back up. There's also uh, tonic seizures where they will assume a posture, typically an extension or over their head. But in each of those situations or those seizure types, the brain is firing off, the entire brain is firing off at the same time. So there isn't an X marks the spot location where the seizures are coming from. The other main seizure type are what are called partial seizures, old terminology focal seizures. Uh, and these are seizures that are arising for a particular part of the brain. So for example, this area right here is called the motor strip. So if a seizure was to arise from this area, which is the hand area, you might have some twitching of the, you know, of the hand or the thumb or indiv individual fingers. Sometimes that twitching can go on for hours or days even. The back of the brain is involved in vision, so somebody could have a seizure where they will uh, get a warning or a part of their seizure will include some visual illusions or hallucinations or distortions. Uh, the strip right behind the motor strip is a sensory strip you could, where there's a sensory representation of the body. You could have a seizure that involves that. And then deep under, uh, underneath the temporal lobes, this part of the brain, are parts of the brain that are involved in, in emotions. And you can have seizures that include experiential phenomena. Uh, deja vu, the overwhelming sense of familiarity in an unfamiliar situation. Or jamé vu, the overwhelming sense of unfamiliarity in a familiar situation. How, how does one know if they've had a seizure? Uh, that uh, can be a very complicated and difficult question to answer. Uh, more often than not, it's not you who knows it, it's your family and they become concerned because of some uh, unusual or abnormal behavior that you're doing. Um, you know, the classic is, uh, you know, Johnny sitting in the classroom and uh, he's been accused of uh, being a daydreamer and not paying attention to the teacher and misbehaving. In reality, he's having absence seizures where he's just staring off into space. Somebody who has seizures because they've uh, been drinking too much alcohol and, they, and then they stop drinking, so-called with, you know, alcohol withdrawal seizure, that is not epilepsy. Those are provoked seizures. Uh, you can have seizures uh, due to uh, a number of medical conditions, uh, diabetes, uh, uh, cardiac arrhythmias, and so on. Those are, in, those are provoked seizures or induced seizures as opposed to epileptic seizures which are sp uh, spontaneous and non-provoked.